Bill O'Reilly here. Welcome to the No Spin News for January 25th, 2023. Stand up for your country. So this is a very unusual broadcast tonight because we are going to bring you a number of stories you haven't heard about, but you should have heard about them. They're important to you. But the uh, corporate media is so corrupt and lazy. Lazy is getting to be big. And I got a final thought on it uh, that I think you're going to enjoy. Journalists are lazy now. And I'll tell you why. Anyway, um, it's a busy news day. And uh, there is an unsavory situation in Philadelphia. And I'm almost, if you've heard about this, Bill at BillOReilly.com, please tell me where. Because I'm almost positive nobody's heard about this. And that's the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. So most people in Philadelphia area get ready for the big playoff game on Sunday uh, against the San Francisco 49ers. However, on Tuesday evening, the Union League of Philadelphia bestowed its gold medal, highest honor, on Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. That was a couple of days, uh, yesterday, yesterday, okay? DeSantis flew up from Florida to get the medal. Now, what is the Union League? Well, it's a private club. It was founded in 1862 as a patriotic society to support the policies of Abraham Lincoln. So, obviously, it's... It's been around a long time, 1862. It's got more than 4,000 members. Previous gold medals went to uh, James uh, Mattis, the former Secretary of Defense, George W. Bush, Bush the Younger, and Bush the Elder. So it's a legitimate organization. Obviously, leans Republican. Um, but when DeSantis was named the honoree, Immediately, the far left cranks, the loons in Philadelphia, went wild. Roll the tape. Why you are promoting this individual who, in their philosophy, in their philosophy, sees so many people, black and brown folks, LGBTQ and the rest folks, see them as second class citizens. This is a disgrace. It is wrong. It is a smack in the face to people of this city. Now, this is pretty interesting. So personal attacks on DeSantis by the far left cranks in Philadelphia. Philadelphia is a far left town. It's like New York City. Okay, 44 percent black crime rate through the roof. But they elect very, very progressive individuals to run the city. And that's why the city's a mess. And it is a mess. Everybody living in Philadelphia knows it's a mess. So DeSantis has done a pretty good job in Florida. He comes in, and these people right away are accusing him of being a racist and a homophobe and everything else. This is a strategy now. This is an in-stone strategy. It wouldn't matter whether it would be DeSantis or any other high-profile Republican. These cranks would label those people bigots. Okay, that's what they're going to do from now on. Why? Because nobody calls them out. All right, so they use the race card and the homophobe card and all of that to diminish people on the Republican side or the conservative side. They do that primarily to keep the African American voting bloc solid. So it won't start to defect like the Hispanic American voting bloc. Many are defecting to the Republican Party. So the race thing is used primarily to keep blacks in line by the progressive movement. It's really despicable, but there was some exposure, some criticism on the local news in Philadelphia. And I was happy to see this against that rolling. Whenever you're trying to come up with something, they always attack you as a racist person, as a person who does not believe in the minority rights. It's insane. And it's dangerous. Okay? It conjures up hatred. So DeSantis wants to be president. We all know that. He's gathering money. He's visiting other states. Um, he wants to be the Republican nominee, and it'll be interesting to see how that plays out against Trump. So right away, 
The progressive thing is he's a bigot. He's a racist. So, of course, Trump is a racist. O'Reilly is a racist. They did that to me when I was working Fox News. Every day I'd be a racist. If I would even give stats and mention that African Americans are responsible for most of the murders uh, in the USA on a proportionate basis, a percentage basis, then I'm a racist. Just for giving you honest information. Anybody, anybody that the far left doesn't like is a racist. And it's unchallenged. Nobody isn't challenging it, saying, hey, this is horrible. It's un-American. It's, uh, a, it's an insult, not only to the country, but to the voters themselves. All right, they don't know DeSantis. These people never met DeSantis. And again, Florida runs pretty well. Look, Florida runs a lot better than Pennsylvania. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it does. As a state. Anyway, um, I wanted to bring you that story. Congratulations to Governor DeSantis for the award that he got. That's the memo. Okay, President Biden, who is absolutely fine with all this racist stuff, absolutely loves it, does it himself. And the Martin Luther King speech in Atlanta, that was horrible what he did. All right, so he has nothing on his schedule. I mean, we do this every day. I don't want to be repetitive and boring, but he's got nothing. He had lunch with Kamala. Okay, I hope it was delightful. Um, now, I'm supposed to talk about Biden tonight on News Nation, on the Cuomo program at 8 o'clock. I haven't gotten confirmation that's the subject, but it was talked about earlier this week <clears throat> that I would run down Biden put him in a historical context. So I hope that's still going to happen. Again, News Nation, 8 o'clock. Um, you should get it. It's widely distributed. And um, they tweet when Cuomo and I are debating. The Twitter thing goes crazy, I understand. So it's an interesting thing. Uh, between about 8.15, I usually hit maybe a little earlier. That's what I'm on. All right, Lindsey Graham, um, you know, people like him, they don't like him, whatever. I, I think he's okay. Um, but he has a good take on this document thing. Now, that, the document thing's totally out of control, and I'll address it, but it's, just, it's such a big non-story. I mean, the FBI raid wasn't a non-story. That was an abuse of power on my lago. That was horrible. But now, with Pence saying, oh, I, I just found this, and then Biden every day, we got new Biden stuff, and then Trump, you know. Uh, here's what Graham says. I don't believe there were sinister motives with regards to the handling of classified information by President Biden, President Trump, or Vice President Pence. We have a classified information problem that needs to be fixed, unquote. So I agree. I, I don't see that there were sinister motives here. I don't believe that. Uh, look, Trump would never read documents in his <laughs> never. You know, they packed them up. They shipped them down to Florida. Biden never in a million years would read documents ever. OK. And Pence is so buttoned down. He would read them, Pence. But he's such a uh, straight guy. That if he knew somebody packed up classified documents, he would have said no. He didn't know. All right, now look, the hysteria surrounding this has gotten completely out of control because the corporate media they don't know what to do. It's January and all of that. It's, you know, not a lot of big news stories except for mass shootings and weather. Um, and so there, it's the same old stuff. So I'm going to deal with it in final thought. I'm going to tell you what the underpinnings of this is, really is. All right, Texas uh, and 19 other states are suing the Biden administration over migrant parole program. You know what that is? I didn't. I, I have to be refreshed on that. That's the program that allows people from Haiti, Nicaragua, Cuba, and Venezuela to come to the USA every month. 30,000 of them. I guess it's divided among the four countries. Just They just get visas to come here. All right, so the states, the states, 
that are suing the Biden administration say, hey, you can't do that. It's Congress that does the immigration law, not you, the federal government, the executive branch. You can't do it. So the states are all Republican states, Alabama, Alaska, Arkansas, Florida, Idaho, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Ohio, South Carolina, Tennessee, Utah, West Virginia, Wyoming. Not one Democrat state on this because they don't care about what the Constitution says. And certainly they don't want to limit migrants from coming here. The left wing, the Democratic Party, doesn't want to do it. Anyway, it'll be interesting to see where this goes, uh, this lawsuit. I'm glad it was filed. I want to get some clarification. Probably go to the Supreme Court, but I think that they'll block it first. Federal judges will block the 30,000 from coming here in February. That's the next round. I think that'll happen. Inflation at its highest level in 40 years. Interest rates skyrocketing. We all know that. Market experts like Jamie Dimon, CEO of J.P. Morgan, not only predict a recession, but are using scary terms like economic hurricane and unprecedented. So you need to call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Please call them today and they will have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They have thousands of satisfied customers of the highest rated firm in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you and they'll give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. Please call 866-501-5201. 866-501-5201 or text BILL to 65532. Again, 866-501-5201 or text BILL to 65532. Let's go to the mail. Uh, Charles on the message board. If you sign up for concierge or premium membership on BillOReilly.com, we have message boards where you can talk to each other. Because we have, you know, hundreds of thousands of people involved with us and and it's very it's a fun thing and we do supervise it no no obscenities no defamation no not a lot all right so charles says trying all gun crimes in federal court makes perfect sense many local jurisdictions simply do not enforce the law and are lax of protecting public however progressives in a white house of congress will never permit such a reform true gonna have to have democrats uh out and republicans across the board to get that Pass. I don't even know if Republicans would do it. They had plenty of opportunity in the past. They have not done it. Uh, Al, on a message board, as long as left-leaning governors and mayors allow the black drug gangs to operate, the drug wars resulting in mass shootings will continue. That's true, but it's not just the black drug gangs. They allow cartels. They allow... There's not a lot of white drug gangs in the urban situations, but they're in the rural areas pushing methamphetamine. And they all get in the way with it. Paul Cranley, the key argument, reduces to this question. Is the president damaging the country through ignorance or with intent? If it's ignorance, why is he not surrounding himself with true experts, not woke ideologues? Biden is not even at the level of being able to select anybody to advise him. He's not even there. I mean, Jill Biden might be, but he's not. Tom, concierge member, means Tom gets direct access to me in a private email situation. Anything concierge members tell me stays with me. It's like Vegas, okay? But it really does. Totally private. But I'll help you out with what you need if you sign up for a concierge membership. Tom, would somebody please explain to me in everyday language the difference between delusional and liar? Delusional is when you just can't absorb the situation. So it's raining, but you can't figure it out. It's raining. You're delusional. You think it's sunny. A liar is you sit down and go, I'm going to mislead. Um, Durgan, concierge member, here's the problem, Bill. I took an oath to defend the constitutions against all enemies while I went to the military. I'm sure Biden took a similar oath. Here I am, 78 years old, decorated veteran, watching all of this stuff, especially the border, and feeling there's no recourse. I am completely powerless. Not completely. 
I mean, you can get involved and, and make your voice heard, as you just did, Durgan. Um, but, you know, there's 330 million of us. Unfortunately, we're going down as a country, I believe this, because of the poor education system. People can't think anymore. They don't want to think. They want to go on the machines. It's hurting us big time. But I wouldn't, you're not powerless. Janet Long, Kansas City, uh, Governor DeSantis was in KC Saturday at the Chiefs playoff game. As he walked along the sidelines, he was recognized and greeted with cheers and requested one for president. As I said, uh, DeSantis is out there. He, he wants to go. There's no doubt about it. Uh, James Edwards, Atlanta, Georgia. I heard you mention a new word, tenebrific. Recently, tenebrific is a word of the day. I looked it up and discovered it means causing gloom or darkness. I felt it's a perfect word to describe the Biden administration. All right, tenebrific. Let's get it out there. Randy Lilly, Shreveport, Louisiana. I was a heavy Dr. Pepper drinker all my life. Stopped drinking it in June of last year. I've lost 52 pounds, four inches on my waist. I'm taking one blood pressure pill instead of two. Knock the sugar back. Okay, you don't have to 100%, but knock it back 75, and like Randy, you will prosper physically. Uh, Gary McClure, Roseville, California. Wasn't it Warren Buffett who said, give your kids enough money so they can do something. Don't give them enough money so they can do nothing. Yeah, but remember... It's about the quality of the child. So I've trained my urchins to be achievers, and they do achieve. So I don't have any worry about them if they come into some money that they're going to be slackers because I know them. Okay, uh, BillOReilly.com store. Got all kinds of things on sale. Buck up for presents you'll have to give this year. You save yourself a fortune. That's a, not a fortune, but you save yourself considerable money. That's a smart life deal. Brand new polos. We will sell out of these. No spin polos. Beautiful. Spring and summer, you'll love them. And, uh, you know, people who live in Florida, you can wear these now. Texas, you can wear them now. All the southern states. Um, word of the day, and this, I think, was the first word of the day we ever had on the O'Reilly Factor. Do not be Peck-Sniffian, P-E-C-K-N-I-F-F-I-A-N. Do not be Peck-Sniffian. I think it's the first one I ever did. All right, back with a final thought on the document thing in a moment. Bill O'Reilly here for Lone Star Transfer. Many timeshare owners are upset that their yearly dues continue to increase and the annual fees never stop, even after you quit using the property. So if you are stuck in a timeshare, you're not alone. With an A-plus rating at the Better Business Bureau and hundreds of five-star testimonials, family-owned Lone Star Transfer is the only company you can trust, guaranteeing the release of all liability to your timeshare in writing and in a specific time frame. Lone Star Transfer's customer service is second to none. They will make your experience a pleasant one, done legally, ethically, and quickly. They have 15 years of experience in the timeshare disposal business and are here to help you. So start the new year off right with a free, no obligation consultation. Call 855-551-7066 or go to LoneStarTransfer.com. 855-551-7066. Final thought of the day, um, journalists are lazy. I don't know how that happened when I was coming up. I worked my butt off and so did my peers and competitors. I mean, we worked hard. Now it's like, oh, I, I don't know. So therefore, I cruise around the cable news uh, networks last night. I don't do that often. I'm too busy to do it. But it was the documents, the documents, the documents. It was the only thing that was new was Pence, um, who conducted a search after Trump got in trouble. He had his lawyers come in and look. He has a few classified in Indiana. Okay, that's it. But what is that? 
a two, three minute story, but they're doing 20, 30 minutes. And I'm getting mail. I'm getting mail from people going, oh, what about that? What about that? What about that? The big part of this story is the overreaction of the raid to Mar-a-Lago by the FBI and that Rehoboth, the beach house for Biden, hasn't been searched. That's it. None of these guys are going to be held accountable in any way. You got your special prosecutors. You got your congressional committees. It isn't going to happen. If Hillary Clinton could get away with what she did, erasing stuff, documents, all right, it's just inconceivable that Trump, Biden, or Pence, nothing's going to happen. So why are we wasting our time on this? Report what happens and then get into stories that are, should be told like we did tonight. You didn't know about the Philly DeSantis thing, did you? Again, bill at BillOReilly.com, name in town. If you knew about it, let me know. I mean, if you're in Philly, you might have known about it, but, you know, they're lazy. And they just go, the same stuff, the same guests, the same panels. Ah, come on, shape up. Thank you for watching and listening to the No Spin News. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, Bill O'Reilly here. I want to tell you about Ghost Bed. GhostBed has been designing high-quality sleep products for more than two decades with more than 50,000 positive customer reviews. Wow! GhostBed has luxury mattresses and premium sheets that get softer with every wash. Their mattresses have a cooling feature. Each is made with their signature Ghost Ice fabric, perfect for hot sleepers. Get fast and free shipping plus a 101-night sleep trial with free returns. Trying their mattress is truly risk-free. So please go online, take their quiz to find out the ideal mattress for your sleeping style. Get 30% off ghost bed mattresses plus two free luxury pillows, or get 40% off when you bundle a mattress with their award-winning adjustable base. Use promo code BILL at ghostbed.com slash bill to take advantage of this fabulous offer. That's ghostbed.com slash bill, promo code bill. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on billoreilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit billoreilly.com to sign up and start watching today.